beauties are on the last of the actual makeup items and then I will do hair skin and nails but this is where I keep all of my lip products as far as treatment wise they're just in these little things right here I got from QVC um, they have marble on the side so they match my little brush holder and then we're gonna tackle this bad boy right here that is all of my liners mascaras brow products and then like tweezers and things like that hey you see from my, my little fur baby um, my desk is kind of a mess I just wrapped up filming so we're gonna try to make this short and sweet I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now I'm really attached to these <laughs> Alright beauties, I decided to switch it up some so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so this is all of my lip treatment, scrubs, balms, oils, all that kind of stuff. Um, this pile that you see here, hi, this pile you see here is what I have on my nightstand. I use every single night one of these and sleep in these every single night. These four right here are the ones that I keep out over here for when I'm filming. Um, I'm prepping, so I will do a lip scrub. I will put one of these on and then kind of wipe it off, you know, kind of in between the paws that you guys don't see before I do lip product. So I'll slide this back just a touch. I have my little Sol de Janeiro little balm here. Um, this is really, really beautiful. I don't know if it's just mine and I don't even know if I can get close enough for you guys to actually see. But it's got this weird, lumpy, bumpy texture in it. I don't really know what that is or if it's supposed to be like that. Um, but it's literally like almost tintless. Like it's just a beautiful sheer wash of color. Um, but very comfortable. Smells incredible. So I really love that. Of course, I'm keeping that. Um, my ColourPop Lux Lip Oils, you guys. This is incredible. I actually went and bought two more. Um, you get a slight little tint, a little kiss, if you will, of color. Super, super, super comfortable, very nourishing, very moisturizing, non-tacky or anything like that. It's absolutely, it's it's fantastic. It's amazing. Um, I know that Caitlin over at CP Fashion Cosmetics, go check her out. Um, she swears by these as well. Love. I also keep my Floating Intentions little oil over here. Not only does it feel amazing, it's nice and cooling because she has like the cute little roller ball on here, um, but it smells so, so nice and it's aesthetically absolutely stunning. I do have a code. It's Darissa. It's not an affiliate or anything like that. It's just for you guys, but I keep that up here. I also keep my original lip balm. This has honey, hemp oil, and beeswax in it. This is from The Crystal Bitch, and I have put a major, major dent in this. Um, I love this stuff so much. Um, it is really soothing, quite moisturizing. It's, it's fantastic. I really love this. I also have a code with her. It is down below. My nighttime treatments. Um, I've been using the shit out of this one. You can see we got this in a box. No. Oh, ipsy. Um, it's the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm Watermelon Balm. Um, and you can see uh, it's almost half gone. But this is super thick. And that's kind of what I look like look for in a treatment. Um, you can kind of see kind of how rich and emollient it is. It smells yummy. It smells like a freaking watermelon Jolly Rancher. So I love this stuff so much. I will sleep with, of course, one of these every single night. Uh, well, I don't sleep with this one on. I use this during the day. <laughs> this stays in on my nightstand as well. This is the Kopari Lip Glossy. As you can see, I've also used the crap out of this. This one right here is much more loose, so I don't sleep in this one. This is more of like a, basically like a sheer gloss slash treatment. Um, much more slippy. It has like a lot of shine to it, almost the way that a gloss would, but it's a treatment. Um, if you have an aversion to coconut, she's not for you, but that is beautiful and I like to use that during the daytime. My Jouer Essential Lip Treatment. I cannot tell you how many I've gone through of this. Um, and this one is also almost gone. I have a backup. Um, I've sent a few of these out when I sent out all of my like Dorismus secret giveaway packages and stuff. I sent several people one of these. Um, it's fantastic. Again, it's nice and thick. It stays on the lips. It provides wonderful, God, it's almost gone. No, it provides wonderful, wonderful nourishment, quite moisturizing. I love it. Smells nice, feels wonderful. You wake up the next morning and your lips feel fantastic. This baby we just got, and already can see I've used a lot. We just got this in our boxy charm. You guys, it smells like beautiful, fresh, like applesauce. Um, again, it has that very rich, thick, emollient, like balmy texture to it. Like it's fantastic. Um, again, I've been using the hell out of it since I got it. it. Smells amazing, feels incredible. So these are all kind of my holy grails, I guess. Now we're going to hop into this. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now. I have more of a connection to this stuff than I do my makeup. 
Um, skincare, you know, our lips are part of our skin care, you know, hopefully. Um, skincare is essential for me. So I'm trying to be cutthroat, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, this is going to be hard. <laughs> um, so right on top, I have the Laneige Lip Glow Balm, and this is the Gummy Bear one. I recently got this from Sephora in like a little kit thing. Um, really, really love this. Um, this, in my opinion, is much less kind of dense and emollient and balmy than these are. Um, so keeping that for sure. This is like a little mini Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I think it's just called Original. But this one I've used quite a bit. I haven't touched this in a little while, and I feel like it's been open a little bit longer than maybe I should have had it open and not used it. Plus, I have this one and a million other options, so I am going to go ahead and toss that one. Um, also, quick disclaimer, these are lit products. Unless it is completely unused, unopened, obviously I'm tossing it if I'm not going to use it. Um, this right here is the Jelly Pong Pong Lip Ol in the scent watermelon um i don't even remember using this or maybe I, yeah i had to have um but i don't even remember anything about it let me put some on <laughs> Ooh, oh my god that smells nice hey Ooh, it gives a little hint of color too i like this i like being able to kindly kind of see you guys hi <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that feels incredible. I think we got this in like an Ipsy or something. I'm going to keep this. I like that. Um, this is my little Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers, which you guys would have seen uh, very recently in a video. And this is so nostalgic, and I forgot how much I loved these, so I'm 100% keeping that. This right here is one of the only glosses. Now, it's called a gloss. It is the Revolution and Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it's the shade Zero. Yeah. Um, it's a shade Zero. It's supposed to be a lip gloss. It's just obviously a clear lip gloss. I'm going to go ahead and say right now, like, it doesn't stay on the lips the way that kind of most traditional lip glosses would. To me, this is a, it's an old, it's a lip old, but I really love it. It's super duper comfortable. Next up is this ColourPop Lippy Balm. Um, again, and I think it's Cocoa, yeah, Coconut Cocoa Loco. Um, I like, I also like these. I like the little applicators that are like this. This is another one that is very, very thick and quite emollient. Um, it feels really nice. I will tell you, this one to me feels slightly more, not sticky, but I don't feel like it has a slip the way that some other ones do. It kind of, to me, feels more like petroleum jelly. So only for that reason, I am going to get rid of it. I am going to see if my mom wants this, though, because this is, I mean, I can clean this part right here. And I think I only used it one time. It smells amazing, though, but I am going to pass it along to my mama. Next up, we have this tart. I have no idea. It's a little tart oil. And I use these like this and this type of stuff that has like a flush of color. I really like these for summertime. Um, I don't know if you can tell that I've used up quite a bit of this. I love, 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 love the doe foot. And this is another one that it just gives you a little sheer wash of color. They smell really, really nice. So I'm going to hold on. Dang, I'm over half full. I mean, half empty. Y'all, I'm proud of myself. Um, so I'm going to keep these. Again, these are more like I use them for summertime. This one is another one. It's Seraphine Botanicals. It's the same brand as the new little apple and balm we have. Oh my god. This is another one that smells fantastic. It's the Berry and Juice Vegan Lip Gel in Cherry Compote. And kind of the same thing. It gives you just a little sweep of color on the lips. Just a little flush of color. Um, they're non-tacky. It's beautiful. It smells incredible. So I will be keeping that as well. Next up is this little Gigi Gorgeous um, Living Lip Balm in Natalia. I haven't actually reached for this in a long time, and if I did use it, I probably only used it once, so I may cut this. Um, I typically like with a bullet lipstick or something like this, I just cut the tip off of it, and then it's basically like a new product, so I'll see if my mom wants this. Next up is this Laga Prickly Pear. I actually went through a full one of these. We got these in our Ipsy bags. Um, I haven't really reached for it in a long time, but I do like the fact that when you put it on, again, you get that little sweep of color. But because I feel like I have enough kind of colored ones, I am going to go ahead and pass this one along. Well, toss this one. Next up is another ColourPop Lux Lip Oil. This one has a little bit of shimmers in it. Let me try to get super close for you to see. So you can see it's kind of like a champagne-y shade, and it has like the little glitters in it. Um, 
This, again, is super duper comfortable. There is no, like, stickiness, tackiness, or anything like that. Um, and as much as I typically don't like this, these are so finely milled in here and such small kind of metallic particles. I don't feel them. They're not uncomfortable or chunky, so I'm going to hold on to this. Highly, highly recommend, you guys. Like, highly, highly recommend. <laughs> Next up is this Hanalei Lip Treatment. Um, I used this a couple of times and then I realized that I had already opened up a mini. So I kind of put this away because I have a little mini one right here that I've been using. Um, very comparable to kind of the rest of these, like the Jouer one and stuff like that. I like the applicator and stuff like that. Um, and you'll see kind of a running theme. They're, this is very, very thick. Um, again, non-sticky or anything like that. It doesn't have that kind of weird like overly heavy um, kind of petroleum jelly type of feel to it. Quite comfortable, um, quite nourishing and moisturizing. So I will be holding on to that. Next up, we have this Raw Sugar Natural Lip Balm in um, Lemon Sugar. That is what it looks like. I think that is so cute. Um, I don't even think I've used this. If I did, I've maybe used it one time. It doesn't really have a scent. I assumed it would smell like sugar or lemons. All right, that feels really, really nice. Again, doesn't feel like it has a sticky texture or anything like that to it, so I'll hold on to that. Like, how many bombs do I need, though? Hmm. Y'all, I'm not doing so well. <laughs> Next up is this Quarez Pure Greek Olive Lip Oil. It says plumping and hydration. This is still sealed, and clearly mama has enough. So I'll stick this and maybe put it in with, like, my next giveaway or something like that. But, again, it hasn't been touched, and I have too many. Next up, um, let me go ahead and grab all my little hemp ones. I love hemp. So you guys know that they are one of my all-time favorite brands in regard to like lip treatment. Body washes are like my holy grails. Love, love, love. Um, so this is the Hemp's Triple Moisture Frosted Pomegranate and Sugar Plum. It's like a little balm. Um, I am going to go and hold on to it just because I like it so much. It smells really nice. Again, it gives nourishment and it's moisturizing, but it's not super heavy. Um, not like a greasy feeling. It doesn't feel, again, like a thick petroleum jelly kind of sitting on the lips. So I will keep that. I'm also going to keep both of these. This is the Hemp's Sugar Cane and Papaya Lip Scrub. This is so nice. Um, I know that sometimes for some people, lip scrubs can be a little bit too intense. This one is really, really nice, especially if you have more sensitive skin. Um, you can see it has kind of like an oil base to it and it's grainy, but it's a really, really soft particle. And because it's sugar, it melts gently onto the lips. And then because it has that oil in there, it also nourishes and moisturizes the lips as well. So if you are looking for one that is for sensitive skin, sensitive lips, highly, highly recommend this one. Um, it's fantastic. And then of course I like the ultra moisturizing herbal lip balm by the hemp's as well. Next up, we have the Trifle Cosmetics Sugar Bunny Heavenly Lip Scrub. This one is also sealed and clearly I have enough. I'm going to go ahead and also put this in my little giveaway ba basket. Next up is this Noya Organic Peppermint Lip Balm. I think I opened, yeah, I never tried it. Um, I think I probably just opened it, then realized it was peppermint because I probably smelled it. I'll also see if my mom wants this. I don't do peppermint, you guys. I don't like it. I do not like it in pro like makeup type products. Um, I know that's strange. I know a lot of people do, but nah, brah. It's not my journey. <laughs> think this one's still sealed? Yes. This is Skin and Tonic London Lemon Lip Balm. I'm pretty sure we also got this in like a boxy or an ipsy. Again, obviously I have enough here. So I'm also going to put this into my giveaway type pile. Next up is a Jersey Shore Star Mint Glossy Balm. Um, I also know that I only opened this and probably tested it one time, realized it was mint, and then I did not use it again. So I'll see if my mom wants that one. Next up, I went through another one of these. I should have kept it. This is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. Um, again, I've gone through an entire one of these. I will say for an oil, y'all, it feels slightly, maybe not necessarily sticky. I hate to say sticky and turn people off to it, but it doesn't feel like a, a thin oil on the lips. There is some grip to it. There's some texture to it. Um, but I really, really do like these, so I am going to hold on to it. It's not, it's not my favorite, I will say that. Next up, this one is also almost gone, as you can see. It is the Skin Iceland Limited Edition Berry Fix Lip, um, and it's, uh, again, like a treatment or a balm. I've also gone through a full one of these. Again, kind of standard applicator for these. And running theme, hi, come out, please. 
it is quite thick as you can see these are my favorite especially for kind of sleeping like lip treatments overnight treatments um, I like one for the daytime again that is like I said a little bit more thin like the Lux lip oils like the crystal bitch oil for summertime springtime or just if I just need a wash of color but I don't want to put a matte liquid lipstick on I'll use these um, but for nighttime I love something that's very thick very rich very nourishing and that's actually going to stay and kind of have some grip and stay on my lips overnight another perfume what the hell <laughs> this one is the perlice daily lip uh, lip nourisher with mango and shea butter i cannot even remember if i used this i think if i did i maybe used it with you guys when i first got it it was again in like a boxier ipsy let me smell it oh that smells real oh that smells really nice i do smell the mango i smell the fruitiness it doesn't feel super thick or super gloppy, but it feels thick enough. You guys know I like that, so I'll hold on to this. Next up is this Tokyo Milk Margot Elena. I don't know if this is a lip oil, you guys, or like a gloss. Um, I have used it a couple of times. I'm actually going to put it on. Not that I don't have enough on my lips right now. <laughs> okay, definitely more of like an oil. Oh, that feels nice. Okay, so I'll hold on to that too. I'll probably use that more for like summertime. Next up, I have this In Beauty Project, um, ooh, Candy Apple Lip Glaze Lip Oil for soft, plump, and supple lips. Obviously, it's still sealed. I just want to see what it looks like. <gasps> Cute! Dang it! Okay, so I feel like it's honestly going to be like these, and I've kept three thus far, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that along as well. I'm doing better than I thought I was going to do, you guys. <laughs> Next up is the ColourPop, ColourPop Land Balm in the shade, don't have my glasses on, so I don't know. This is just okay. It kind of feels a little drying, and I know it's not supposed to feel that way, um, but I don't know if you guys have tried... I know people swear by Carmex. When I wear Carmex, it dries my lips out. It does the complete opposite. Um, so for that reason, I am going to go ahead and pass this along again. I'll see if my mom or my niece wants it because I can just cut the end of it off. Next up, I have this Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. And that is what it looks like. It's in the shade Nug. Um, and again, it's just kind of a really soft, slippy balm. I'm going to tell you right now, this has a little bit of a tackiness to it that I don't like. And it also, to me, smells like mint. So I'm going to pass this along. Luckily, I got it in my boxy pop-up. I will tell you, though, the component feels quite heavy. And I really like the magnet on this. I don't know if you've tried some magnetic products that it doesn't work. And, like, you're losing lipsticks or you're losing product. So I'm going to pass this along to my mama as well. Next up is my Lip Smoothie and Pumpkin Pie from Morbid Mistress. I have used the heck out of this. Um, fantastic. It feels super, super nice. You can see it is massive. <laughs> and um, I, I love it. I can't say enough about it. It's super comfortable on the lips. I like the fact that I feel like I'm literally, I'm, I'm never, never going to run out of this. <laughs> uh, all right. Next up is this Skin Chemist London Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip Plump. Whoa, baby, that's a lot to say. Um, and I think we also got this in a Boxy or an Ipsy. Guys, look, if it wasn't for Boxy Charm or Ipsy, mama wouldn't have shit. Okay, just FYI. Anybody else? Comment down below. Um, this just feels like a nice lip oil. It's quite comfortable on the lips. And I didn't really notice much as far as like plumping or anything like that, but it was super comfortable, so I'll hold on to that. Next up is this little Pacifica Lips Like Sugar Candied Lemon and Sugar Lip Scrub. Um, this is crusty dusty. You can see that's all I have left. Um, I've used the shit out of it. I will tell you I'm okay with it because I, I do lip scrub every single day because I wear matte liquid lipsticks. If you have very sensitive skin, if you kind of feel like lip scrubs are too abrasive, this ain't for you. It is quite abrasive. I'm actually going to toss this, throw it away. Next up is this little Pillow Plump Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory. You can, I think, see? Yeah. You can see I've used over half of this. I don't feel any plumping with this whatsoever. I like this, again, for when I'm just kind of at home, just chilling. It gives this kind of really beautiful flush of a peachy little tinge to it. Um, super comfortable on the lips. Super hydrating. I don't feel like it plumps, but perhaps it does, and I just don't notice it. So hold on to that. Next up is this... B-Y-B-I, I think, Plumper Lip Balm. Um, I think we also got this in a Nipsey. 
Um, and I don't remember, I think I did use this, but I don't remember my thoughts on it. Good night. Oh my god, I can't even get it out of the freaking container. Maybe I didn't use it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well clearly, we can see it's quite stiff. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> okay, it's quite, uh, quite, quite, quite thick. I'm gonna smell it. Oh, no, it's mint. I didn't use this. I never did use this. <laughs> So I'm going to pass that along as well. Ew. Yeah, I know. And I know that sounds strange, you guys. I do not like mint. I do not like it at all. Um, next up is the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. This is fantastic. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. I think it, again, was in, like, Boxy or Ipsy. This, to me, reminds me more so of the Capari Lip Glossy, um, where it's not so much an oil. You guys can see, I think, the slip to it and the shininess yeah and the shininess to it um these two are pretty comparable it smells so damn good you guys i really do like it um less is more with both of these they can kind of build up and then kind of get a little bit gloopy um and like settle into like the inner like your corners of your mouth um but i'll hold on to that as well i'm gonna need a new towel when i'm done with this video next up is this grande lips hydrating lip plumper i've never tried this i just got this in like a sephora free whatever thing so um i haven't tried it if you have let me know i don't typically like plumpers i don't like that feeling on my lips um but yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> next up we also got this i think in an ipsy or boxy <laughs> but it's the mamon mamonde mamond sorry if i'm saying that wrong lip sleeping mask in plum blossom oh shit that's huge so mamond uh lip sleeping mask <sighs> I want to try it because I haven't tried it yet, but again, I have enough. Um, if you did try it, let me know. If you guys have tried it, you know, because of course a lot of us got this. If you've tried it and you really, really like it, please let me know. Um, it says repair and nourish, pamper your lips while you sleep with AHA. Oh, I might have to keep it. AHAs, if you don't know, is like a chemical exfoliant. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because this will also exfoliate chap lips, etc. Never mind. Um, but also let me know still if you've tried it. I am going to keep it. <laughs> Teresa, Teresa, come on now. Next up is this Nicole Miller Pineapple Lip Scrub. I have not opened this one yet. I got this in a salt box from, I think, Kate or Katie. I'm sorry if I don't remember. Um, I love pineapple. I love any type of, like, fruity scent. So I'm going to hold on to this because I think two of these are older, so they'll be getting tossed. Next up, I have two ColourPop Lippy Scrubs. I have the Squeeze the Day and the Coco Loco. I got the Coco Loco in a little kit with this. It was very inexpensive, you guys. Um, I had made an order probably in October or November where they did like big 40% off sale. And I, I mean, I went freaking ham on there. So this is another one that is quite nourishing and quite comfortable on the lips. There we go. Um, you can see I've made a big old dent in there. I really love this. I like a little bit more than this. Um, it's not quite as aggressive as maybe I would like sometimes, but because I do exfoliate my lips daily, um, it's enough. It smells fantastic. It tastes fantastic. Um, and it, again, it leaves behind that kind of little oily slip and keeps your lips nourished and moisturized after the fact. Um, you know, there are some lip scrubs that you scrub and your lips, are, they're like dry as hell and you have to put product on. This is not one of those. Um, and then this one was the Squeeze the Day. And you can also see I've used quite a bit of this. This one doesn't really have a scent to it, um, but I, again, I really like the formulation of these, so I'm going to hold on to both. And these are my preferred ones, like one that has um, the grains are not too thick in them or too, I guess, aggressive, but then they also leave behind like an oily slip. This one right here is the Fizz and Bubble Lip Scrub in a Blueberry. I didn't like this. And I'm going to show this with it because these are the ones that I don't like and I know a lot of people do. Um, but this is the JS Velour Lip Scrub in Blue Freeze. <clears throat> so you can see, I mean, I equally, I, I try them, you guys. I'm not somebody that's going to try something once unless literally I just absolutely hate it, breaks me out, my skin gets inflamed, etc. Um, but I don't like these. I don't like the texture. I don't like this kind of very loose texture. I know they taste yummy. I know that they feel nice. Um, these, to me, are pain in the ass. 
they're messy and then they leave my lips more dry. Yes, they're exfoliated, but then I have to go back in and use something else. I again like one like these where I can scrub the lips and then there's there's still treatment there. There's still moisturization there. So for that reason, and I don't, mm, I think I'm probably going to have to toss these. I don't even know that I would feel comfortable enough like giving them to my mom. Um, of course, I'm you know, I dip in. So yeah, we're going to probably have to throw these away. Um, I get that in the trash pile. And then last but not least is our Niu Body Pina Colada Sugar Lip Polish. Um, I think I use this, yeah, quite a few times also. Um, and this is another one that has that beautiful slip to it, has like the nourishing oils and stuff in there. Um, super, super soft, not super duper aggressive. Oh, bitch. Mm. And it smells amazing. Again, not super aggressive. And then when you wipe it off, there's still that beautiful kind of nourishing quality left to it. So I'll count everything up, of course, and leave it right here. We are actually tossing one, two, three, four products. I have one, two, three, four, five for my giveaway, I think. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for my mama. And then I'll count all these up. So I'll count everything. Of course, it'll be up here. Now we are going to move along to this bad boy right here. And look, if this gets too long, y'all know what I say, right? Grab your tacos and your tequila. Whatever you, I mean, what is your favorite snack? I know a lot of y'all like Doritos. A lot of people say that. That's my nickname, by the way, that people used to call me. Um, but grab your tacos and your tequila. Grab your snacks. Grab your beer. Um, your combos. <laughs> combos are the shit. Cheez-Its. Whatever your pleasure. Um, and sit back and relax and enjoy the show. But I appreciate your time. And I love you. BRB. All right, beauties. Just a quick little, little reminder. Um, the little trays are normally on top of this. But I just keep my little tray that I have in here from Stacy with my earrings. You guys know I'm an earring hoe, especially when I'm doing my um, recording. And it has, again, the marble that matches my little things. Um, if QVC still has these, I'm also a QVC hoe. Um, if they still have these, I will link them <laughs> for you guys. So we are going to get started. This little drawer right here has literally my brow gels. There's not that many. Um, I have one from Mellow, which is actually not my favorite. I may go ahead and declutter this one. Um, that, that wand is ridiculous for the brows. It is also quite heavily pigmented, but it kind of like sticks and stays in place before you get a chance to kind of move it around. So I'm going to go, I am going to go ahead and get rid of that. Next up is my Busy Gal Brows by Tarte Medium Cool Brown. This one almost is too tiny. It doesn't put enough product. So I might also get rid of this one. I'm, I'm going to see. Let me look at the rest of these. This one is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel. This has like the little fibers in it. I love this one. I like the size of the wand. I like the amount of product that it puts on, but you still have kind of, you know, like wiggle room to kind of play with it. So definitely keeping that. This is the NYX Control Freak Every Eyebrow Gel. I think it's just clear. Yeah, and transparent. I have not tried this yet. If you guys have, let me know. Um, I may look up online though. If this has a, like a large wand to it, a longer wand, I'm not going to keep this. Next up has quickly become one of my Holy Grail products. It's the Milk Makeup, the Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dub. I did just pick up two more in the shade Dutch from the Boxy Pop-Up because I loved it so, so much. Sorry about that, guys. And then another new Holy Grail um, is the NYX, the Brow Glue. I am obsessed with the... Um, Benefit shit 24 hour brow setter. I have two of them and a big kit that I just got I'll kind of Graze over glance over like all of my other stuff that I have that's not in this. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely gonna keep this Um, I feel like I have enough and this is it is nice It is really really nice, but it is almost kind of too teeny teeny tiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along as well oh, Short and sweet this one I'm not getting rid of anything y'all don't judge me. I have 6,000 pairs of tweezers I also have my eyebrow waxes that you guys know I swear by. And then Katie sent me this one from freaking Elf. You guys, exact dupe. I paid 14 damn dollars for this one. 14. Four. 14. And Katie sent me this one from Elf. Hello. Fantastic. Um, I also have extra spoolies. I love Tweezer Man tweezers. They're fantastic. Um, but then I have like little mini tweezers. I have more pointy ones. Um, I like to have different shapes and sizes. I do also have my little lashes lash helpers like lash little tweezers in here um, I have a few pairs of scissors in here and then I also shave my face I have done that since I was 15 years old so I keep these as well 
Um, FYI, don't use these more than two to three times um, or you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Next up is all of my like brow pencils, actual brow products. Um, I have my Urban Decay Brow Guides. I love these. I did a video with you guys. And then I have my Hourglass. This is the Arch Brow Micro Pencil and Dark Brunette. Absolutely love this. I'd gotten one myself in my boxy. Then Tony sent me one. Then I also bought one on a boxy pop-up <laughs> because I loved it. Um, I also recently fell in love with this little NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, I have a couple of the Real Her I Am Inspiring. And then I just got another one from my boxy pop-up as well. And then I have like a couple little teeny, teeny, tiny little brow, like precision type brushes in here. Quite a few of them actually. Um, again, some spoolies. I have both of my Maybelline Fit Me concealers. These are what I use on my brows. I prefer a more kind of thin, looser formulation when I'm cleaning up my brows. This Maybelline Tattoo Studio I know is at least two years old, but this shit is bulletproof. It is a little bit harder to kind of work with. Um, I suggest you go in with a brow brush instead of trying to go in with this right here. Um, but when they say bulletproof, honey, it is bulletproof, but it's old as dirt, so she's got to go. I also have, again, just kind of more like brow brushes, teeny tiny brushes, and then kind of like concealer or like cleaning up brushes. I have my Fro to Go from Oma Beauty. The only thing I don't like about this is the actual shape of it. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Um, I can break this part off and see if like my mom or one of my sisters wants it. It's a good product. I like that it is a more firm textured brow pencil. That's what I like. Um, it does have the spoolie on the other end. Um, but yeah, just because of the shape and I can't get super precise. I mean, hello, mama has no brows. Um, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one as well. Um, again, more brushes, dual ended brushes, another teeny, whoop, another teeny tiny brush. Then I have, um, I have about my 6,000th Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil and Brunette. These are fantastic, you guys. Very, very thin, precise little tip. Um, again, a more kind of thick textured, like more waxy type of a, um, Pencil, not super creamy. I love these. Um, and Ulta Beauty does these all the time, you guys. They're $10, and they'll do them like 40% off, or they'll do BOGO. Then, of course, my all-time holy grail brow products just ever, 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 ever. Although I will say that if they come out with this from NYX, and it has a pencil and the ink, bitch. Um, but it is my Urban Decay brow blade. Um, but again, very, never mind, it's empty. Um, <laughs> Very, very precise, as you can hopefully see. I need a new one, obviously. Um, and then it also has the ink stain on the other end. I absolutely love this. It is quite pigmented, but it's soft enough that you can get in there. You can get in, you know, very, very precise, make those beautiful, like, little hair-like strokes. I, You guys know I love this. I've gone through several. Next up, if you want, again, something very, very bulletproof. If you already have fantastic brows, um, but maybe they're too light or something like that and you just need a little something. This has the primer and it also has the color to it. It's the Brow Endowed. So you go in and it's teeny tiny and precise. You go in with this part right here. I brush up and down with this and it kind of just grabs on to all the hairs that I do actually have. Um, and then you go on top of it with the actual bold color. And you guys, this is bullet proof. Your brows, are they're not, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere, I promise you. So that is it as far as my little brow thing, other than like I have all my extras. I have an extra drawer, <laughs> an extras drawer. This is all, don't judge. This is all of my open mascaras <laughs> that I'm currently using slash trying. I have not yet tried this one. Somebody let me know if you have tried this. Um, You guys, none, nothing in here is new, Um, but I will go through it very, very quickly. Urban Decay, I mean, Too Faced, Better Than Sex, one of my holy grails, love. The number seven, Dramatic Lift. I like to use this in conjunction with a more voluminous type of mascara um, because it does give a lot of length, but it doesn't give me a whole lot of like blackness and like thickness and volume. This is my little MAC one. It's just like the plain green. Um, I don't actually like this. I don't like the wand to it. It's super spiky, but it's hard. So I am actually going to toss this. I also have this Brooklyn and Bailey um, mascara. I don't even know where the hell I got this. It's called Lash Next Door. I also didn't like this. It's super gloopy and dried out quite quickly. So I'm going to toss that. Next up is my Maybelline Snapscara. I've gone through a black one and a blue one. <laughs> Love this mascara. Um, again, it doesn't give me quite as much in, in regards to like volume, but bitch, lift and curl and, you know, like length. I love, 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 love. 
My Oma Beauty. This is the Drama Bomb Mascara. Um, I love this. I love, this is my favorite type of wand. Um, kind of like a densely packed hourglass shaped wand. This is a beautiful formulation, um, nice and voluminous again. This is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega. Um, kind of the same thing where it has kind of like that more fluffy wand that I really, really like. This is the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout. Not my all-time favorite, but it does work and it does have that kind of fluffy wand that I do like. I also have this It Superhero. I will use this in conjunction with the other one because this one, as you can see, the bristles are more spaced out. I feel like this gives you kind of more length, um, whereas the other one gives you more volume. So I use this in conjunction with another one. And then I have my couple of lash primers. Um, I have the Tarte, the Opening Act. I have the Essence Volume Boost Lash Primer. This one is fantastic and like a fraction of the cost of both of these. And then I have my Lancome, I think it's just called Lancome Primer. Uh, Seals Booster XL Super Enhancing Mascara Base. They ain't got to say all that. It's a damn primer. Um, but I've never had to pay for this. Literally, I've gotten so many of these for free, <laughs> and I fell in love with this, and then I discovered these, and then Katie sent me this. Love, love, love. Um, I used to, um, if you've been with me for a very, very long time, I used to go in with three different mascaras. One that was more like lengthening and would kind of open and separate the lashes. Then I'd go in with a volumizing mascara, typically my Too Faced Better Than Sex or something like that. Then I would do a teeny tiny little wand and go on my bottom lashes. Until I discovered that there was such thing as lash armor. So that is all my opened mascaras. Of course, I have a ton in my extras drawer. This drawer right here is a hot ass mess. And for somebody that really doesn't wear liners, why? Why? Why do I have so many? <laughs> I will never understand that. Um, although I do use them occasionally, as you guys know. Okay. First up, this is the Q Veen. We got this little set. I'll grab the other one as well because I really liked them both. Um, we just got this in our BoxyCharm this month. It was the liquid liner and the standard black liner. Fantastic. Um, bulletproof. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it's like more felt and it's kind of wide. It's not quite as like, I guess, long or as flexible I guess so you can't get quite as precise but still beautiful both are bulletproof both are both are super super black love these both right here I hate <laughs> and I'll tell you why um the texture is not bad but I do not like this type of a wand I feel like you don't have a whole lot of control with these and the color that it shows here is not the color that ever shows up on you. Um, and this will dry almost to like a bricky brown shade. Um, I was super disappointed in that part of it because they're supposed to be vivid brights. They're supposed to be neons. That is not that color. And this also dries down and has more of like a grayish type of tinge to it. Um, they're okay for the price. I think if I were to do like a white or a black or something like that, maybe I would like it. But for this to be called Vivid Brights, it is definitely not the color that you think it's going to be. You also cannot get very precise with this. So for that reason, I'm going to let them go. Next up is my ColourPop Wine Knot. This is their new um, liquid liner. I haven't even tested it yet, so duh, I'm going to keep it. This is the Hank and Henry, the Blickety Black Slick With It um, liner. He has a fantastic liner. It's an actual brush liner, um, but I've had this since we got it in Boxy a long time ago, so it's time to let it go. You guys can kind of see that it's not quite as opaque and as black as it used to be, so I will repurchase this. Would highly, highly recommend this. Really, really good quality. Next up is my NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Liner. And this is a white one. Again, I don't like their, I don't like this. This is too thick. You cannot really get precise with these. I do like this though, again, for like more avant-garde things. If I'm doing white liner, I need to draw hearts or stars or something like that. So for that reason, I will hold on to it, but it is definitely not my favorite. Next up is this little Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Um, again, it's more of a felt tip, and they're, they're not my favorite. They're my favorite, and I kind of recommend them for newbies and beginners, um, but I don't feel like I can get quite as precise. And I will say that this one right here, I'm going to try to get up super duper close. You can see it's already starting to kind of feather out, and it does the exact same thing on the lids, so for that reason, I'm going to pass it on. Next up are my ColourPop eye pencils. I think they have a fantastic formula. I will say that this yellow right here, the Raw Beauty Christie one and Marigold, it knocked my damn socks off, you guys. It's fantastic. It is beautiful. The color you see is the color you get. They last on my waterline all day long. Um, and you guys know I have tons of allergies, sensitivity, things like that, and these do not bother me at all. 
I have both of the ones from ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie collection, and then I have like a more nude one. Um, this nude one, in comparison to some other new ones I have tried, is not my favorite. You do kind of have to build it up a little bit. Um, I typically will take my liners prior to wearing them, and I kind of warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand. Then I go onto the eyes. Please make sure your hands are washed. But I will hold on to these. They're also very affordable. They have like the big library of the pencils for very inexpensive as well. Um, this is one of my, used to be my holy grail and I used it all the time. I mean all the time. I've gone through, I know, 15 of these, if not more. Um, and I used to rave about these when I go live on my Facebook group. <laughs> it's the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil just in white. They're like $1.70 at like the Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Dollar wherever. Um, fantastic. Really, really opaque. Of course, you can't get super precise with this, um, but I used to run this just across my bottom part of my lid and press in shadows and stuff like that and use it also as a base. Um, and it also looks beautiful in the waterline. Um, I've kind of geared more towards nudes instead of whites in the waterline. This right here I'm tossing. I never used it and I know I would not be good at it because I'm blind as a damn bat. It's the Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll On Precision Liquid Liner. Holy Jesus. Um, who wanted this? I want to know. I want to know who wanted a roll-on liner that has no control and no pigment. Nah, we're throwing that away. Next up is... <laughs> This is teeny tiny. Um, this is my L'Oreal Soka Seam. You guys have heard me talk about this a time and time and time again. This is my all-time favorite black liner. You guys, this is the blackest of the black. Fantastic. Does not irritate my eyes. Stays in the waterline all damn day long. This is a lovely, lovely liner. Highly recommend. That's uh, my toothbrush I use for my brows. <laughs> Um, this right here is the Butter London Glazen Lustrous Liner. Um, I am probably not even going to hold on to this either, although it is a brush. But yeah, it's old. There is literally no opacity there at all. It just looks gray now, so we're going to toss that. I'm pretty sure I got these. I think we got these in a boxy charm. You guys let me know if you remember that. Um, next up is this Appeal Liner. I also got in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. Um, it's a gel liner in like this teal shade. It's still sealed. I'll go ahead and put that in my giveaway pile. Next up is a Carbon D Beauty. This is the Intuit Liner in the shade Espresso. Um, I used to be obsessed with her, ugh, with her stuff. Um, this is quite thick. She, she's a little thick baby. Um, I don't know that I necessarily try to put this in the waterline, although I will say it's creamy, but it's kind of so creamy. Let me get closer. It's kind of so creamy. It's kind of so creamy that it like bunches up and stuff like that. I would use this only, only for like the top and then kind of smudging it out or like underneath the actual lash line and smudging it out. It is not in my personal opinion and I love her. I've loved so many of her products throughout the years. Um, it's not one I recommend for the actual water line. Let me pick this up before I smudge it everywhere and put it in the trash. Okay. Next up is this Maybelline Master Precise Ink Metallic, and it's like this kind of lilac-y shade. I know this is old as dirt. I had gotten it for like a monochromatic, yeah, there's nothing. Um, I got it for like a monochromatic, like lilac, purpley look a long time ago, so uh, it's old as dirt. This one is my brand new one. This is my actual holy grail of liquid liners. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. You guys, this is bulletproof. It's super fine. It's super black. Um, it's fan fucking tastic. I'm telling you, this is amazing. Um, again, it's waterproof. It has an actual brush applicator, which I love. You can go super thin. You can go thicker. It's, it's stunning. I really, really love this. It glides over everything. It's comparable to like the Hank and Henry one. Um, they both glide over like glitters, um, you know, heavy metallic shades, things like that. This is a fantastic formula. <laughs> Next up. All right. I have a ton of my little Avon. You guys know I sell Avon. I don't push it or anything like that. But my link is always down below if you guys ever did want to purchase something. If you ever have any questions or anything like that, I am here to answer them for you, darlings. Um, is this it? <laughs> okay, I think so. So I have the Avon True Color, just called Glimmer Sticks. Um, and then I have, in brown, I have a teal and I have a sugar plum. I've literally used these, you guys, since, hope they have some in here, yeah, since I was in high school. Um, I love these. They are a beautiful, highly pigmented shadow. I will, I mean, um, liner. I will also say these are not my favorite, and I'll get up close. These are also not my favorite in regards to trying to put on the waterline, just because they can kind of, they're kind of too creamy. They're kind of mushy. See how it's already breaking? And I'm not doing that on purpose. But for that reason, I, again, would use these more for like the top of, you know, 
right here <laughs> and smudge them out or underneath the lash line right here and smudge them out but they're beautiful um they're super opaque they last a long time uh, we offer a million trillion different colors they're just they're slightly more thick um and creamy versus waxy or like a firmer more like a more firm pencil like i like but i'm hold on to them Next up, I have this Old as Dirt Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Corrupt. This is another beautiful, beautiful formula. You can see, I mean, it's quite creamy, quite intense. Um, I can sharpen this and kind of refresh it. You can see it's almost gone. You can see I've used a lot of it. So I am going to hold on to it, but I know I need to sharpen it, and it's getting old for Showa. I have this Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner in Winged and Wild. I already know that this is older. Um, I did this for like a green look. These I do like. It's an actual brush applicator and you can see you can get very, very fine lines or thick lines. Um, I am seeing that it's kind of running out of opacity though, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. This right here is another holy grail. This is fantastic. We also got this in a box here in Ipsy. It's the Araceli Black Liner. You guys, this is freaking insane, like insanity. It is the same up there with like the L'Oreal Silka Seam. Um, I'm not quite sure the price point on these. I think close to 16-ish dollars, but... I mean, honey, that is black, black, black. Lasts all day, you know, in the waterline. Um, beautiful also for smudging. Fantastic formula. Next up, you would have also seen this quite recently. It's the Elf Satin Eyeliner Pencil. I was so shocked by this, you guys. It has beautiful pigmentation to it. It glides on. It's super creamy, but it's also kind of stiff the way that I like. Um, I like it. I like it a whole lot. And it was like two bucks. <laughs> I was shocked by that for sure. Next up is the Beauty For Real, also probably an Ipsy thing. It says Eyeline Liner in the shade Whiskey. This is just a retractable and apparently it's empty or I can't get it out. Um, again, this has like a slight little metallic sheen to it. Quite beautiful, quite creamy as you can see. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass it along because um, I'm not really getting anything out of here. This one right here is the Wet Wild Wet and Wild Mega Last Retractable Liner. This is also a beautiful drugstore formula. You can see it's slightly thinner than some of the other ones. Um, not quite as creamy. There's a little bit of a tug to it, so I would just you know caution you from that. But again, not quite as black as some of the other ones, but it does have good opacity, and of course, it's a good you know drugstore option. Next up, we have the Lash Glue and Liner from Kiss. This stuff is fantastic, especially if you struggle putting on your lashes. Um, it's quite opaque, quite black. Um, it doesn't like dry right away, so you have, kind of have some playtime. The only thing I'm going to tell y'all, if you have very sensitive eyes like myself, this is really, really hard to get off. Um, I go in with an oil, a balm, makeup wipes, micellar water, whatever the case may be, and it is a pain in the literal ass. To get off. Um, so the few times I have used this, you guys have seen, you know, seen me use lashes. Um, it's a pain in the ass, and my eyes were quite irritated just in the process of getting it off. And I just realized you could see my little crimper over here. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Next up is my NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner in the white. Again, I kind of have geared more toward using the creamy ones, like the, you know, cream tone, skin tone. Um, but you can see it's quite opaque. This works beautifully in the lash line, in the waterline. Um, doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that, so I really do like that. And then I have a couple Ulta Beauty ones. I kind of equate the Ulta Beauty ones to, similar to, like, the Avon ones. I have, like, an olivey green and then a really pretty, like, grungy gold um, they're the same in regard to being a little bit thicker. That's not always my favorite. You guys know that. Um, and they're super duper creamy. I mean, you can see how beautiful that is, but I don't typically like them for the waterline because they leave, they're too creamy. They leave like a waxy kind of texture or film there. So for that reason, I like to put these just on the top again and kind of smudge them out. This one right here is my LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense um, Liner in Super Bright. This is absolutely fantastic. Again, a little thicker than I actually like, but again, super, super opaque, glides on beautifully and really wakes the eyes. And of course, it's affordable and at a drugstore price. Next up is this um, KBD Inkwell Liner in the blue. I'm going to pass this along. I'm not going to use it. And it's also quite stiff. Like, that's super, <gasps> oh my god, I just poured out everywhere, no, um, but it's quite stiff, and it's like really watery, and watered down, and there's like no opacity, it's going in the trash, <laughs> and then I have my ColourPop 
And then I have my ColourPop QT Mark. It's like the little liner that has the star on it. I actually used to do my makeup all the time with stars on it. There was another one that we had gotten like in a ba um, Ipsy bag years and years ago. Um, and that was like my signature thing back then. But it's so cute. I love it. And again, affordable. And then the last couple, this is fantastic. I may not like some of their other, like the liquid liners, but the NYX, the Faux Blacks, this is Sienna. Yeah, this is the shade Sienna. Oh, it's beautiful. It is lovely, you guys. Like the shade of this is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's almost a bricky mulberry brown, but very, very intense. And if you're like me and you have brown eyes with like amber kind of gold flecks to it, gorgeous and then last but not least in this little pile over here is the laura geller ink credible waterproof gel eyeliner pencil um again i kind of equate this to like the avon ones the ulta beauty ones it's a little bit chubby for me but this has beautiful beautiful opacity the color is stunning and it has great staying power so i'm going to hold on to that as well this next one only has my sharpeners, my little hair thing, my glitter glue, a knife to open packages, and my sharpener. So we don't need to go through that. Um, so that is it. I'm quickly going to insert pictures. I'll just hold this up like this. <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> um, I'm going to insert pictures or I'll just do like a quick like little five second clip and add it um, of my extras drawer. My extras drawer is literally just a million mascaras, a million brow products, um, liners, things like that. Um, because I go through these products pretty damn quickly. All right, real quick, beauties. This is my extras drawer. Um, you can see a ton of mascaras. You know, I'm a mascara hoe. I just am. I love them. Um, but a ton, ton, ton of mascaras. Um, extra, like, lash primers, things like that. We have a ton of brow pencils. My extra, like, holy grail, little, like, ultimate bright by LA Girl. I have a couple of the Kush brow um, I have like a little Pat McGrath, again, extra mascaras, like I, you guys, I love mascara, I just do. Um, these are all mascaras, a bunch more mascaras, and a bunch more mascaras, um, more lash primers, my Benefit, let me pull this out, sorry about the swatches, <laughs> um, my little Benefit Feathered and Full Brow Kit, you guys know I obviously have no brow, so, you know, <laughs> gotta create my own. Um, another Urban Decay Brow Endowed, and then these are all actual brow products back here. I have my extra Urban Decay stuff, my um, Tarte Big Ego, another Kush, <laughs> and then 24-Hour Brow Setter, 24-Hour Brow Setter, also from Benefit. So this is basically, again, it's just my extras. These are products that I go through like I mean, insanely fast. So again, all my extra mascaras, lash primers, brow stuff, you know, extra liners, things like that. So this is my extras drawer. This is long. I'm so sorry. Um, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank y'all. Um, I love you. Comment down below and turn me with a yellow heart. You know the drill. I love you guys. Be your own best beautiful.